There's a lot of things that, a lot of influences that bear upon people's impressions when they go and vote, how they understand what they're voting on. And obviously, one of the big ones is, is media. In the two years prior to three strikes being enacted, there was a 300% increase in the coverage of violent crime on network television news. You also had an explosion in real life crime shows, cop shows. So there was an impression that there was, uh, that the crime was, was, was exploding, that it was out of control. In fact, during that period, the, that two year period, crime dropped. But what most people carried with them to the polls was a sense that it was, that it was growing, that they had to do something, they needed to respond. Um, and so I think that throughout the entire debate on three strikes, the impression that people were given about what they were voting on by the media was really at odds with reality. I began shooting this film the day that uh, Californians went to the polls to vote on three strikes. That It was already a law. In March it had become law. Uh, the governor had signed the legislative version of it. And then voters were asked to ratify that through an initiative. And the thing that I guess I in some ways expected but still was surprised by was really how little people knew about the law. It's a very simple sounding law, three strikes and you're out. It couldn't be more easy on some levels to get. It's a bumper sticker. On other levels, though, it's an extremely complicated law. One of the things I learned when I was a victim of violent crime, though, is that sometimes it helps to sit back and examine the situation, examine what is the risk, how did this happen, how is the best way to respond. But with three strikes in California, there was this absolute tidal wave um, coming both from the media and from politicians to respond. And there was very little time allowed for people to deliberate how best to respond to their concerns.